Bling bling You keep me on shine while I make the ching ching You so precious like a burst of joy I heard your boy Jacob got Yes, 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 YouTube Back again Week 2 of the Pengus Parts of Foundation BMX in the UK And today we are looking at Animal Bikes Now, Animal Bikes is one of the Got to be the longest running brands in BMX um, World renowned, New York based brand um, the core of street riding in its entirety. So we're looking at them today. We've had a recent delivery this week with a couple of new items. I guess it'd be best to look at them first and then we'll look at what other the bits we do from Animal. So without further ado, let's hit it. We've got over here some of the new Mark Gralia signature pedals, which are called the Rat Trap. They're available in four colours, which is nice, because these days, I guess, not everyone smashes the colours out like they used to, but as you can see here, we've got a load of options. Black, green, navy, red. So yeah, a few different options out there, which is pleasant. They're obviously a nylon pedal, um, just like, you know, a lot of the pedals out there today, plastic nylon. Um, but if you look at them closely, they've got, you know, a good micronold surface, there's 20 molded pins. These retail for $18.99 and they've got a huge platform. And we're finding a lot more riders are after that these days, you know, like a, a wider platform pedal, more for your foot to stand on. So yeah, that'd be the Rat Trap pedals. Also this week, new and for a UK based rider, the Benny Pegs. Now, Ben Lewis, absolutely top guy, UK rider from Liverpool. If you don't know who he is, you need to check him out. Um, he rides for fit, but he's been doing it for Animal for a long time, and they've just released a new plastic peg for Ben. Now, Ben's plastic peg comes in four inch long and 4.5. It is supplied with a spare sleeve, unlike the Butcher peg, which has been their longest running plastic peg. But just like the Butcher peg, it features a 7,000 aluminium inner core, which means it's super lightweight and especially if you want to run four and you don't want to weigh the bike down you want to definitely go for alloy internal core rather than the chromoly ones but like i say the benny peg comes in 4.5 and i think somewhere down here as well we've got the four inches and as you can see they come with the spare sleeve and those are going to retail for $25.99. Um, now that's pretty much it for the newest items on this delivery, um, but as you can see, we've set out loads of other bits for you to take a look at. Um, we've had in for the first time the Jeff Coxis grips. So these are the Jeff Coxis grips just here. Pretty long grip, kind of ribbed pattern. Obviously with a lot deeper grooves than your standard ODIs um, and they come in gum as well. What's pretty cool about these is they come with the new animal sewer cap bar ends as standard. However, if you want to get on them, you don't have to buy a new set of grips. You can buy them separately. So the Jeff Cox's grips, they are $10.99 and the sewer cap bar ends are $4.99. Let's go on to some more substantial bits and pieces. We've got here the Empire State Bars, which are the Colin Varaniak Bars, and we've also got the Big Fours. These are the two which do the best for us predominantly. Um, now, the Big Fours obviously are a bigger version um, of their classic four-piece bars, which were the Skirbo Bars. The uh, Big Four Bars here come with an 825 rise and a 28 width. They got some crazy upsweep on them. I think it's like five degrees. So they're really sort of Skirbo-esque if you like. But like I say, the big four bars, probably the biggest selling bar that we do with Animal to be fair to them. Now the Colin Varaniak bars, which are called the Empire bars, the Empire State bars. These come in a nine inch rise and a 9.5 inch rise. So you've got two rise options. Um, they both are available in just black but they feature a 2975 width so they're like a bigger two-piece design with a bit more width obviously you can always cut them down if the width's not your thing but you know those are the Colin Varaniak signature bars uh, next to those we've got 
the Mike Hodder 710 chain. Now the Mike Hodder 710 chain is a beast of a chain. Um, it's quite expensive, uh, $25.99. However, it is based on a classic KMC cool design. So if we look at that right here, um, and it's, you know, really thick. I mean, this sort of chain, you know, I'd presume is going to last you a hell of a while. And of course, we want that with a chain. We want, don't want a chain that's going to end up breaking and as knee in the stem and as going over the bars and rolling around on the floor like a sissy girl. Next up here, we've got the Cush seat or the Cush strip seat. Mad popular seat, wasn't available in the UK for ages, now is, we've got good stocks on this seat. The Cush strip, it's got the little strip design through the middle, Griffin, where the Allen key goes in the middle there, pivotal only, and these seats are real popular. Um, if you're after a cool pivotal, this is definitely a recommendation of ours. Kevlar style to surface on the top, and like I say, available in Pivotal only. Next up here, we've got the Street Forks. Now these were a new item for us um, over the Christmas period from Animal. They come in two different offset options, both in black, but these are the 26 mil offset. Now the offset is basically the distance from your fork leg to where your wheel sits. Often people ask us, what does a different offset mean? Well, that's exactly what it means. It's the distance from where your fork legs would be, the center, to where the wheel sits. The shorter the offset on the fork, the easier it is to get your bike forward. As in, if you were to try and do nose manuals or hang fives or anything like that, the shorter the offset basically means that it's easier to get to the point where you'd balance because you, the, the, the wheel is shorter distance from your fork legs. So that is what the offset difference is. And a load of forks are available in a shorter offset these days, but the animal forks come in two offsets. Like I say, 26, which is a kind of like middle of the road offset if you like. Um, it's still short as far as the traditional offset would be concerned. However, they do make an even shorter 15 mil for those who really want to get over the front end. They are invest cast dropouts and They've got some really nice little, you know, bits and pieces on the dropout. If you look there, you can see there's like a griffin embossed on there. They're invest cast, and it comes with a really cool sewer cap. New York sewer cap. Top cap just there. So those are the forks. Uh, finally, over here, we've got something that's been out for a little while, but back in again via popular demand. These are the... Garrett Burns signatures, I'm going to call them, but they're the Animal T1 tyres um, that Garrett did the promo for. Garrett Burns, to all those riders who've been riding a while, will know is a phenomenal rider from the sort of 2000 period. And if you're into concrete and you're into bowl shredding, the Animal T1 tyre is one that you should definitely take a look at. It's available in a 2.2 width. Um, and a 2.4 so you've got an option of running the wider option or you can go for something you know a bit narrower if you want to run a narrow one on the back that's still something we find a lot of guys into but all these tires back in now the Garrett tires uh, the Animal T1 tire so slick tire available in two widths got a really sort of slick with like a T1 logo throughout pretty cool tire and back in stock that pretty much wraps up the parts from Animal that we've got in here today. Um, other than the obvious selection of great parts which Animal do, we do really well on Animal soft goods. So we've got down here just a selection of the snapbacks, five panel, beanie at the back. We do really well with the soft goods from Animal and we always try and keep some stuff in stock. And if we come over here, we'll probably find we've got as well some t-shirts, Emblem logos, Griffin logo, the Ramos back print tee. We always try and keep a good amount of this stuff available because Animal Soft Goods are renowned. So basically that wraps it up for the Pengus Parts episode 2. This has been Animal Bikes. Obviously like, subscribe, comment on the video, let us know what you'd like to see on the next episode and we'll try and hook that up. 
This is Mike from Foundation signing off. One love. Go ahead. Fresh out the gate again, time to raise the stakes again. Fat my plate again. Y'all cats know we always play to win. GNG to the stars, son. Haters took the shit too far, son. So that's 